I'm going to show you uh, J plus running on Amazon Cloud. First of all, let's go to Amazon uh, Web Service. Okay, so here's the interface. I've stored a machine image, and uh, we can launch an uh, instance from uh, uh, using this image. Now we launch instance. We start with one to set up uh, a well, hide node if you like. There are a few settings to go through. Okay, now we're ready to launch it. Now if you go to instances, you will see our head node is uh, starting. We should be there in a couple of minutes. Now we have uh, the head node running. Uh, so you can see here, what we need is to connect to it uh, through uh, SSH. Open the terminal window. And SSH. We need address of that uh, um, instance. You can find it in the information sheet. So let's make a copy. Okay. There we go. Are you in? Right. I have a J plus installed here already. What I'm going to do now is uh, start a project which contains about 420 jobs. Uh, yeah, batch mode. Uh, and then we go start uh, more instances to run, to actually run those jobs. The jobs should have uh, Started now. We can take a look using a different, using a separate monitor. Okay, have uh, the server address, uh, uh, the instances address, uh, and port number there. Um, let's see what are the jobs we got. Right, so. The service running. There are four four hundred twenty jobs to be to be executed, and it's waiting. At the moment, it hasn't got any nodes to run those jobs. Right. Now let's go start some more nodes. We come back to the AWS, and let's find my. Uh, image. We're gonna start. Um, we're gonna start more instances using this uh, same image. Uh, before that, we need to make a copy of uh, the IP address of the head node. This time we're using the private IP. And then we go to images, launch instances. Okay, let's have ten of them. Oh, 
or using default behavior. Although we put that uh, IP address of time node in as user data. So for those, we call it a uh, node. Yeah. Same key pair, same uh, security policy, and now we are ready. To go to the instances, you will see quite a few more um, instances are starting. Let's give it a moment. You see quite a few are running now, but one mysteriously terminated. Right. Let's check uh, how many nodes we got them. Okay, quite a few now. So we've got five so far. Others are waiting to log logging in, I suppose. Check here. Oh, I've got nine. And some of them are running the jobs, as you can see, this job record. So they're picking up jobs from uh, the server and uh, executing those. Let's see what's in the job. Okay. So there are five running, nine has completed. 400 remaining. It'll take a while, we'll finish eventually. Alright, I think we are about to finish. Let's no check. Five running, the last five. The project is uh, in the example folder. Um, in the project file, I have specified all the outputs should go to an uh, output folder uh, within, the pro uh, uh, within the example folder. Right. If you show the content here, you'll see loads of uh, directories. Uh, each of them contains the output from Energy Plus of uh, one job. Okay, now we have uh, we have actually finished. So let's see our CSV files. Okay, so this three files are what we need. Let's move it. Now the simulation jobs are all finished. We can turn uh well delete those uh, execution nodes on Amazon. Okay, it's terminated already. I want to terminate all of them. Now we should keep the head node uh, because the results are there. Let's go get the results of the head node. Right. Okay. That's fine. Right. We can now open it in our uh well using a spreadsheet.
Right. This part is uh, uh, well contains the energy plus report. You find this uh, e, uh, e plus out dot end file in the in the job directory. Um, well, basically it tells you how how each simulation ended. Uh, you can see all of uh, them here are completed successfully with uh, a few warnings. But uh, if you take notice uh, uh, of things here, uh, that's the CPU time um, each job uh, used to uh, to finish the simulation. You see a varies widely from uh, ten seconds under ten seconds to a minute and a half. Um, this is the nature of uh, cloud computing, I suppose. So jobs are actually running on virtual machines. And Amazon has uh, the power to control how much resources they they give you. And of course, you can reserve uh, more, but uh, you have to pay more as well. Let's look at the other two files. If you went through uh, other JE Plus tutorials, you will know uh, what which these files are. This is the job index file. Um, so on on the left you see the list of jobs and then the weather file used for that job, the model file, and uh, the value of each parameter uh, headed by the search string used. Now this is the simulation result. Okay, again that's the job a uh, job index on the, on the second column. Following columns are the variables you specified in the VM file. Okay, I hope those uh, nodes has terminated. So we are now, so I'm not keep paying for them. Yeah, only the head node is running. Okay, this ends the, to, uh, the demonstration today. Uh, thank you very much for listening.